this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, and today I've got a slightly different little video for you because I wanted to showcase one of the products from the new Autumn Winter Catalogue um, 2018. The catalogue will be available to order from from the 5th of September. It's in the new Stampin' Up! Um, catalogue which is here. Um, I can't show you inside it, we're not allowed to, I can only show you the cover. There are some beautiful products in here and if you have a look here and here I'm going to be coming and showcasing those another day as well because those are also products that I've bought. Um, but today I wanted to showcase this product which is the Peaceful Ponzettia Bundle. Um, the bundle is 45 75 for a clear mount set. Um, which I always buy, I don't ever buy wood, but there is a wood bundle available if you like wood um, mounted stamps. Um, and it consists of a stamp set and a die set, which has eight dies in it. So I've got a stamp set with seven stamps and a die set with eight dies. And they coordinate, but they're not exactly, they don't don't um, just coordinate, they can each be used on their, on their own right. So if I look at the stamp set first of all, we've got some beautiful sentiments. I love the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I love that. I love the font. Christmas Wishes, which is always very useful. May this season be filled with peace. So three lovely sentiments with lovely font. And then some stamped image elements. So this Ponzettia um, spray, really, um, is one of the, the shape that one of the thinlets cuts out. So I'm going to show you that in a minute, as is this little sprig of holly. And then you've got this little border of holly and then this little sprig of, I'm not sure, quite sure what that's meant to be, but it looks very Christmassy, doesn't it? Um, so some really useful um, elements to build up a like a little... Um, floral scene Christmassy scene there so I really like the stamp set but the die set really brings it together it brings it to life so the die set like I said you get um, loads of dies in here so I'm going to open the packet and show you okay so this is one side and then you've got dies on the other side as well now like I said these two dies here cut out shapes from the set stamp set so I'm just going to show you those to start with. So here's the little holly sprig, which I've stamped in memento. Yeah, well, you can see that. I've stamped it in memento, and then I've coloured it with blends that are new colours in the autumn winter catalogue. So we've got light and dark real red and light and dark shaded spruce. And I bought these because I thought they'd be really useful for Christmas cards. So there, that's what I've coloured them in with. So we've got this little holly sprig, which you stamp, and then you can see I've cut it out with the framelit, which is lovely. And then this bigger framelit here cuts out the Ponzettia wreath. And somewhere under here, you can see, I've cut that out as well. Um, and again, I've coloured it in with the blends pens, and I've actually used some of our red rhinestones in some of the berries, just to highlight the berries there. Um, really lovely, I really love that. And I can see, you know, having two of those on a card with a message in between. I can see lots of uses for that. So I'm really pleased with that. So it's lovely that the die cuts that out. So those are two of the elements of the die set. But then it gets really interesting because we have, where did I put the die set? Oh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, we have some pieces. Oh, I hate these sticky tape. That cut out negative um, shapes. So, for example, this big corner shape cuts all these shapes out and leaves a negative in the card blank. So, if I show you here, this was cut out. So, this was the die. This die went on like that somewhere like that um, and cut all of these elements out so you've got all of these elements obviously it doesn't cut this out but then you come back in with another one of the dies and you can fit this into the space and cut that out as well and so you have this lovely negative image not only do you have the negative image, but actually also in doing that, you end up with some lovely little ferny sprigs, as you can see, um, which actually I'm going to save and use on another card, so you get lots of those as well. So that's really useful. But I love this negative image here. I think that's really lovely. Um, and I can imagine, I think, I, th I think of 
doing it and insetting all the shapes in different colours back in there, backing it with gold or something I'd look, think would look really lovely. So I'm enjoy, going to enjoy playing with that at one stage. Um, and then, so that was that image, but then if you bring in this shape as well, this shape fits exactly into here so you can cut it out so whereas this was a negative image in the card this other die cuts out the actual shape and so you end up with sorry let me find it a shape like this which again is really rather beautiful and if I put it on a cream background my piece of cream you can see how beautiful that's going to be um, cut out in all sorts of different colours so that's really useful I really love that um, and of course you will get the, the shape in the card so what you could actually do is cut it out and then place this back into the card wherever it came out from so you could place that back in there if you wanted to so you could cut out the negative shape and then play so if you wanted the negative shape but with the, the detail in it you could do that so really love those but that's not all there's more this is such a good value die set um, you then get two little elements that cut little again in a negative you could cut little corner um, elements so you've got two of these oh, there and there um, that cut these little corner elements so again that's really lovely you could have four of them on a square card with just a greeting in the middle lots of uses for those as well really pleased with those and then lastly there is this piece here which cuts out this outline of holly and I've cut this one in gold um, just to see what it looked like. So you could infill this with red berries and green leaves. I think that would be really pretty. So I'm really looking forward to being able to, to use this set. I think there's some really lovely shapes, lovely dyes, useful dyes to use. Um, and I think it's going to be make some really lovely cards and very different cards. I think once you've made them, it won't, you won't be able to tell very easily that you've used the same set to make them. So loads of possibilities. So, and if you wanted to add um, that, add this to your order, it would be forty-five seventy-five. Um, or if you can't wait till the 5th of September to order, of course, you could join my team and then you'd be able to join in with the pre-order and get it more, even more quickly. So that's one of the bundles from the um, new catalogue. I'll be back to show you another one fairly soon. Um, but if you'd like a copy of the catalogue, I'll be sending them out in the next couple of weeks. So please get in touch and I'll send you one absolutely free in the post. Um, or if you'd like to order, you can join, follow the links and click through to my online shop. Um, and I think that's about it from me today. I'll be back with some more Christmas products another day to show you. Um, but meanwhile, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.